In this video, we will upload a project and library created in Altium Designer into our Altium 365 workspace. We will use the project Mini PC Sodom. This project is located in the Examples folder in your Altium Designer installation. The project is small but contains several schematic sheets and a printed circuit board. Open any schematic sheet and create an integrated library from the components of this project. Use the File menu command, Design, Make Integrated Library. This int lib will be used to migrate the existing components to our workspace. We see the int lib file appears in the Projects panel. The next step is to connect to the workspace. Go to the upper right corner of the window and select the Account Settings. The list displays workspace servers available for connection. Select and connect to the desired workspace. In the File menu, select the command Library Migrator. This command migrates data from the integrated library to your workspace. Any file-based library can be migrated. In the Library Migrator window, we select the plus button to add our integrated library. The program analyzes components from the library and recognizes the component types by their notation. In our case, the program identified 16 components and divided them into folders by type. Pay attention to the fact that the default name field will be filled with the value of the ID parameter. We will replace ID with the comment parameter to improve the clarity of the name parameter. All the names are now defined with the component parameter from our library. First, we recommend checking for errors using the Validate button. Altium Designer warns that some components do not have part choices. Part choices connect our component definitions to real-world manufacturers and suppliers for purchase. In addition, one component does not have a defined type. These warnings are not critical, so we'll move on now. Press the Migrate button. Altium Designer reports any errors or warnings in the Messages panel. We will agree to move forward as we have already reviewed the existing issues with the Validate option. Note that the length of the migration process is dependent on the size of the library. Large libraries can take several minutes. At the end of the process, the program displays information about how many components, modules, and templates have been transferred. You can see the migration result in the Components panel. Here we see 16 components. Now we will transfer the project to our workspace. We delete the integrated library from the project to avoid duplicating information. Right click on the menu and select the command Make Available Online. The project must first be saved so we agree to continue. The window that appears shows the names of the project and the location path. Enable formal version control to allow concurrent design work and click OK. The green checkmark icons show that the local file revisions are synchronized with the workspace revisions. We can now view the project from anywhere by right-clicking on the project name and selecting Show in Web Browser. Here you can view the schematic files, PCB, and Bill of Materials. The PCB can be viewed in 2D and 3D. To complete the migration process, we must replace the component links. In our case, replacing links from the Altium Content Vault with links to our workspace components. Go to Tools, Item Manager. Press the Options button. Here we replace the source server with the workspace server. We recommend enabling Preserve Parameter Location and Preserve Parameter Visibility and disabling Update Parameters. Lastly, we specify Parameters Mapping to search for components. Click OK. Now click the Auto Match button. The appearance of green flags indicates that a component was found on the workspace server. Verify that all components are found. Now you can click the ECL button Apply ECO. This command replaces the old links with the new workspace links. Close the window and check the properties of any component. We should see the source as the workspace server. 
Save changes in all documents and right click on the project name and select the command Save to Server. Ultium Designer shows which files were changed, requiring a file commit to the workspace. In the comment field, describe the changes made to the files, such as component links updated. Click the commit and push button to save changes to the server. The saved project is now available to securely open, view, and edit from anywhere in the world with just your Altium Live credentials. When you open a project from the workspace, use File, Open Project for a streamlined and searchable project interface. Select your workspace and see all of your saved projects. A local copy of the files is created for projects open for the first time. Best of all, local files are automatically synced to your workspace. Any local file changes can be committed to the server, or you can update the local revision with the workspace revision.